Hey guys, this is Timothy A. Ben David. And today I want to talk about something that if I've run into. It's related to Afrocentrism. And it hits close to home. I was doing uh, some ancestry research and I was thinking about doing another video relating to the, uh, the doctrine of the serpent seed doctrine, the dual seed line, and my take on it. And I was going to show a few of my Jewish ancestors. And anyway, go back to the Bassano family, which I'm descended from probably twice. Anyway, I'm not sure if Emilia Bassano is my direct ancestor. One site says she is. The other says, that, no, she's my my ancestor's cousin. My ancestor, it says, is Lucretia Bassano. Either way, she's also married to the Laniers, so I'm related to her twice that way, um, at least in marriage and as a cousin, so two ways. Plus, I'm... <laughs> Plus, that, that family was Sephardic Jewish. Uh, well, she was, her mother was a Johnson, so she was, her mother was a white uh, English woman. Her father was an Italian Jewish uh, musician from Venice, Italy, and they eventually went up to England. But um, anyway, she, she's a, a famous woman in that some people think that she was actually the real um, writer behind Shakespeare's writings. And she's probably mentioned in one of them called the Dark, the Dark Lady. And of course, that has something to do with the Afrocentrism related to her. Like if you go Google Emilia Bassano, on the internet, like half the photos that show up and stuff are like a black woman trying to say that she was black and that's why she didn't get um, credit for her writing and all this other junk. And uh, it it's funny because I found somebody else, uh, Alexandra, Alexandro uh, de Medici, and he was called Il Moro, the Moor, not because he was Moorish, but because he had a dark complexion. And it was just like a nickname, you know. And people did that for uh, a lot of Jews, especially the Sephardic Jews, who were a little bit darker in appearance. You know, they would call them the dark ones or black whatever. And they, they don't mean literally black. They were black people from Africa. They just mean that their complexions were darker than than everybody else. But anyway, I'll get into. I'll show you some of the uh, the stuff I found on that. It's just ridiculous, and it this is going to um, also related to uh, what do you call it wokeism, where like you have a, a originally a white character like Snow White or whatever. And then they make them black. But it's also historical figures. There's one who's like a princess, an English princess from like the 1500s. I don't remember who it was. But in a more recent movie, they make her black. And um, this is happening quite a bit. And this goes back to the idea of changing history and taking what belongs to one race, the white race, or a Jewish race in Emilia Bassano's um, case, and giving it to somebody else, and to the blacks. And uh, there's a, a a meme that is out. It says blacks were the first chi Chinese, and some of these people are serious. And another one I found was uh, some somebody was commenting on Cleopatra. Cleopatra, okay, was white. She had she was of a Greek and or Macedonian ancestry. And back then they were all Anglo-Saxon in appearance. And uh, of course, you know, she's in, she lived in Egypt. So everybody assumes that she was African, at least the blacks do. 
because Egypt is in Africa, so she must be black. And uh, and then lately, I think they've made her uh, black in characters in movies and stuff. It's like, dude, it's so easily debunkable. She was of Macedonian ancestry. Plus, there's a painting of her that was done when in the first century, like right after she died, and she has pale, super pale white skin and red hair. Okay, but it's just these Afrocentrism people man it's like it's ridiculous it's getting ridiculous and, and wokeism is getting ridiculous it's taking away from whites and or jewish people and giving it to somebody else trying to change history okay it's like propping up one group and lowering another you see that's communism pretty much take away from the people who have money and give that money to the lower income people so that we all are on the same page. Nobody has any more power than anybody else. So they're all easily enslaved. Basically. No political power. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll get into some of this. So shall we look into it? Yes. Okay, so here is Amelia Bassano. Okay. She's either my great-grandmother, well, times many greats, or um, a great aunt or and or cousin, um, but anyway, so like if you go online and and search Amelia Bassano, half the pictures that come up are of uh, black women. See, like right there, African descent. You know, this is her right there, wearing um, Shakespeare's mask, like she was really behind him. You know, she was really the writer. She was a poet, and since she was a woman and Jewish, that's probably the reason why she she had to use a uh, another character to pretend that she was a man. So that's I don't know if there's any truth to that, but you know, look at this black woman named Amelia Bassano Lanier. Blah 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 was really behind. Uh, Shakespeare. It's just ridiculous. Just because in Shakespeare's writing, or her writing, whatever, there's a mention of a dark lady, and people assume that it's Amelia Bassano, okay? Because she was, you know, of Moroccan and Sephardic Jewish descent, and half English. Um, and then the, the blacks say, oh, they said she was dark, so she must be black. Yeah, that's our our black race did that, you know. We're behind that. And you know, I have I don't have a problem with black people. It's just certain black people or Afrocentists, they don't even have to be black people or like doing this stuff. It's just ridiculous trying to take away history from one people and give it to another. It's not right. And just to kind of confirm what I was saying, this is uh this is my ancestor, Antonio Bassano. He was a Sephardic slash Moroccan Jew musician from Venice. And he is, I think he's her uncle. I don't think he's her father. But anyway, you can see he's obviously not, not black. And then over here, uh, Snopes did something, Scopes, or Snopes, I forget which one, did something. And they, they mention it here that in August 2015, a meme claiming that a black woman named Amelia Bassano Lanier was the true, uncredited author of all William Shakespeare's plays. And this began circulating online in 2015. Bassano, Amelia Bassano is the lady who wrote all of Shakespeare's plays because she was black, they would not publish her work. She died in poverty because she never received a dime for her work. Shakespeare was illiterate and could barely write his own name. Right. This is just a little bit of her background. Asano was not black. This is from Snopes. She was born, born to Batista Bassano and um, Margaret Johnson, who was an English woman, uh, you know, white. And um, she was part of a family of Italian court musicians of Moroccan and Semitic ancestry, and they lived as clandestine Jews in 
Venice and or in England when they went there. So you, you, this stuff is just, Afrocentrism stuff is just ridiculous. It's kind of ticking me off because it's, they're, they're making it mainstream too with the, um, the wokeism, you know? It's, it's one thing if you want to make a, a character black that's like from a fantasy or whatever that was, you know, like Alice in Wonderland used to be a white girl with blonde hair. They want to change her black. You know, I don't see any big deal with that. But if it's a historical character, now that is not right. You could change them. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.